Welcome back to Empowerment with Dr. Josefina, and I'm Laura Garage. First of all, we would like to thank Heather for providing Dr. Josefina with her lovely hairstyle today. Um, she can be reached at 713-9910. Um, looks very nice, by the way, in your outfit also. Well, thank you and welcome back. <laughs> yes. How is motherhood? Oh, it's wonderful. Um, little Celeste is um, one month old now and um, I'm happy to be back on the show. Ah, uh, me too. Getting yeah. things back to normal <laughs> yes, <laughs> for me. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I've got uh, Bobby home babysitting, so. So she's a good girl. She is. She is Bobby a very is. good girl. Um, speaking of children, um, we're talking about the magic of daydreaming yes. and you know, I've noticed in my life, and I've always found it kind of sad that, you know, children, they always have such big dreams when they're little. And you hear them talk about their dreams, and I always found it sad because nine out of ten times those dreams never do become a reality. Exactly. And you know that when you're an adult and you're hearing a child say that. Um, because people, it's hard for them to follow through with their dreams. Mm -hmm. And you list uh, many reasons why. Um, People, uh, as we get older, we lose our self, low, we have low self-esteem, um, poor self-image, uh, lack of goal setting, poor attitude mm -hmm. about life and themselves. Mm -hmm. And um, that is what happens usually, and it's other people that do that to them. Exactly. They're, it's like their spirit gets broken as, as you get older. Exactly, and that's why it's so important for parents that allow your children to daydream. I was talking to mm -hmm. somebody this uh, so this week because somebody asked me about what the show I was preparing and I said it's about daydreaming. And she was telling me that her daughter likes colors and likes, she's more like a, a, an artist, artistic kind of child. Mm -hmm. And she, in the beginning, the mom will say, oh no, stop that, don't do that. And then she, at least the mother bec become a, became aware that I should let my child express her creativity and her God-given potential and right, talent. Right. Because when you start a child, you know, from the beginning, you take a child and say, oh, don't be creative, don't do this, don't do that. Immediately, that's what you do when you, you suck, you, like you said, you break their spirit. Mm -hmm. And so the, their talent and that God-given potential that is what's gonna make them happy, then it gets taken away. Right. And so that's why when you list the reasons, um, the first one, the clarity of purpose, mm -hmm. and you have to be confident in your own integrity and character. And, and if we're children, the parent, it is important that the parents build on that, exactly. like you said. Exactly. Otherwise, um, it's hard to follow through exactly. as we become adults. And one of the things with clarity of purpose, as you get older, let's see what we have right now, young people watching or teenagers. I, I know we get a lot of teenagers watching the show. Even though people will tell you that you can't or you won't be able to do it because of the external circumstances, have your purpose. Think very clearly what it is that you want and do not worry about how you're gonna get there and how you're gonna pay for it. The only thing, the secret in life is to really decide what it is that you want and then the how will come. So sometimes people allow other others mm -hmm. in circumstances lack of money and I really truly believe it's no lack of money it's lack of it's, em, it's no empty pockets right. it's empty heads and an empty heart well a lot of times I think people are not motivated enough to follow their dreams and they look for excuses exactly. and that's a big excuse oh I didn't have the financial backing exactly or whatever so you can't let yourself fall into that realm of you know making excuses yeah. for yourself and uh, you know another thing that kind of um, follows with that is don't sit around waiting for other people to make your dreams a reality people are busy making their own dreams they don't have time to make dreams happen for other exactly, people exactly exactly or they're busy being busy sure not necessarily achieving mm -hmm. what they want because you see a lot of people who are in a job that they just making a salary or right. making a living they know you know they know following their purpose mm -hmm. and, and their dreams and and this is a just a temporary si situation for them so then and one of the things Laura that people sometimes don't get is that your function and your happiness are the same that means what you do with your life is what's gonna make it's gonna decide how happy you will be oh ab absolutely you know so mm -hmm. if you're doing something that you love to do then even if you have all these obstacles and setbacks, 
it won't be a, a big deal for you because you're doing what you want. Right, and dreams are usually um, things that we have passions for and Absolutely. that we love. And mm -hmm. so it's not like you're doing something that you don't want to do. Exactly. Because dreams are just exactly what they are. They're dreams, and dreams are wonderful things. You Absolutely. Nobody's going to dream about doing something terrible. No. I mean, maybe some people do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> you <laughs> out there dreaming <laughs> terrible things um you know i've got this little flower oh pot God. here yes we had issues with this uh before taping the show right. I, I dumped all the it, it's funny story behind it but um we you talk in the lesson about um that how big your dreams become don't yes don't confine them right yes exactly because when you allow others to define you then your dreams your horizon your future become as big as the flower pot <laughs> and I'm giving back to you <laughs> <laughs> we had to use the whole flower pot thing <laughs> because we spilled the whole thing right? yeah. anyhow <laughs> so don't, else. don't let your dreams spill out absolutely that's good point right that's good that's, a, that, that's what we learned from that <laughs> that's very good Laura <laughs> thank you okay anything else um well there's got to be other things here um take action you have to take action mm -hmm. and you know that kind of goes back to n not sitting around and waiting for it to happen I think a lot of people they think that if it was meant to be it will just happen exactly and if you want to take action you need to call my office oh yes and my whole program is in cities so there is no excuse for you not to call and get your, uh, you know, your CDs. My whole five weeks program is in CDs now. So I'm very proud of them. So you, you get this, you know, there is, the thing is, Laura, with the, with the program is that there is five elements for success. Mm -hmm. And they are, those why the five CDs are. And go ahead. Right, and if you don't have time to attend one of her seminars, which she has very often, um, this is a great way to do it. And you can listen no to excuses. these. Yes, yeah, yes, exactly. You, know, you like can listen to these in your car, yes. um, when Put you're your car. Absolutely. Everywhere you go, and then what you're doing, you're retraining mm -hmm. your mind, you're getting into that really nice, space of creativity mm -hmm. of doing what you want following your dreams making your dreams a reality mm -hmm. that's why life becomes exciting Absolutely. exciting mm -hmm. you know so anyway go so ahead. you can do this at your own convenience absolutely and it's a perfect way to it's get phenomenal. motivated and I'm very happy and empowers you and gives you power and <laughs> energy and you feel fabulous terrific it's awesome everybody who has them love them well I remember when I was uh, commun uh, commuting from um, here to Orlando for college Yes. I would listen to motivational tapes and it was a great way to to get get it done yep. because I'm on the road for an hour and a half and mm -hmm. I and motivated me before class and exactly it was great yeah um, you know it's much better to put positive thoughts in your mind and your brain than allowing all these negative things to come in and dwell on you right and then mm -hmm. you know your thoughts and your words define your life and your destiny <laughs> and I think think we have to go already why not it's, it's we have so much more to talk about we need a sponsor so we can have one hour of laura and josefina mommy thank you for thank coming you. wonderful to have you back thank and we're you. gonna take a break and we'll be right back with a lesson